not uh, travel. Did you see that those cadres, did they go to the UPND secretariat? No. If they were UPND cadres, they would have gone to the UPND secretariat and asked the secretariat to say, oh, we were brought by this particular you know, official of the UPND or something like that. We appear now to be getting stranded here. We are from uh, whether Solwezi or, or wherever. Uh, secretariat, please intervene. They never went to the patriotic front, I mean, the UPND secretariat, because they are not UPND. Where did they go? DMMU feeding them. Just one day, DMMU is rushing to feed political cadres, as if it was an emergency. Where have you seen DMMU react like that? Here, in this part of the region, in 2019-2020, there was untold hunger where people were sleeping for days without food. They were eating wild fruits, they were eating wild tubers. Some of the people died. When did you see DMMU react quickly to feed people? Nothing. What did they do? The maize they bought from the people at 70 kwacha, they were selling it to the people at 111 kwacha. Something unprecedented because when there is a crisis, a hunger situation, you must declare a nation that situation, a national disaster, in order to attract international support. But because they wanted the people to suffer, because then they were eating and living better, they said, no, there is no disaster, it's just four districts that are affected. No, today's 14 districts that are affected. We have, we have the capacity. What capacity? Selling maize to a people in a disaster is a capacity. Now, today they are affecting so-called European decaders. DMMU, Patriotic Front to Feed UPND Cadets. But where? This is panic mode. They are purging. You can do all these political gymnastics. You can invoke all this political magic to try and woodwink yourselves, first of all, and hope to mislead the nation. It won't work. Take back those people. You have done the circus you did to portray them as UPND. They are not UPND. You must be ashamed of yourselves. Can you do decent politics? UPND, where it is now, it has capacity. It cannot fail to ferry cadres if it needed to. We have capacity this time. We have capacity. We cannot get 70 people stranded when we want to leave the nation. Look at the rollout of our campaign. This time we will have more Chitenge than us, but we also have enough to win votes. Not using the Chitenge, but just using the Chitenge for people to as advertisement. Not buying votes. We have capacity this time. Watch this space. So take your people back wherever you got them and end this drama. Let's do decent politics. Ah, if you, even the journalists are shocked. You pay any cutters to be fed by DMMU. How? A program I think was announced where on the 29th, which is um, six days from today, the UPND Alliance is launching its national campaigns on the Copper Belt. Now, that is the launch, official launch, and before you undertake to perform such an important task, where from after that launch, you don't want the momentum to go down, you want the wavelength to continue, you must put everything in order. Right now, logistics, everything is being put in place. Who is going to lead which campaign in which province? Okay, uh, Mutati is going this side. KBF is going this side, HH is going this side, Narumango is going this side, Ernest Mansa is going this side, Mirupi is going this side, Mwet will be doing Vuvuzela after receiving information. <laughs> so these are the issues. Mwet and Tabo Kawana, who has been uh, named as um, the Alliance Media Director, they will anchor the Vuvuzela engine over the alliance.
You can imagine pit me and Tabu Kawana here versus Antonio Mwanza and I don't know who. Sorry, sorry, William. <laughs> because as we stand for truth, we can never justify a wrong to be right. And when something is wrong, say it is wrong. Don't spin around lies and present it to be truth. You are killing a nation. So we hear you. HH and his team will hit the road running very soon. And um, I can also indicate that in certain provinces where we have been campaigning, don't be deceived that we haven't been campaigning. We left PF brandish those threats, they were brandish, hey, there's COVID, there's COVID. We went on aggressively in the campaign using local radio stations, using meetings. Today in Choma, here where we are speaking from, I don't need to campaign here. I'm just going to campaign in four words. We launched our campaign two days ago here in Choma. Our only campaign in four days. Tomorrow, we are hitting Livingstone. Tomorrow we are hitting Livingstone for two days. After Livingstone, we'll let the nation know. Because we don't want HH to waste time in some of these places that we can handle. There is enough information to discredit PF for their failures. Because here in Joma, why should the HH come? To do what? He will just come here for people to. Oh, yeah, yeah. He didn't die in Mkoveko, so he's still alive. Okay, this is how now he's, he's looking with KBF and, and his team. That's all with Narumango. That's all. Not campaigning here, no. Because here, PF, I've already assured the party in Choma, PF won't get more votes than they did in 2016. Never. Never. Nothing. It's not there. In case I don't know, 75% of the votes in Choma are rural. And in this rural area, two things, and I'm saying for free. One, the hunger you exposed our people in 2019, 2020, when you made them to be sleeping at sheds for 10 days, refusing to, to sell maize when they had money to buy, after selling their goats, their animals, you punished them. We are reminding them with emotion and they will not give you a vote.